Here goes a little song I wrote about DNA replication. <clears throat> here and while everyone's like I'm so thankful for my family I'm like there's so much more to be thankful for you see my cells replicate themselves like there ain't nothing to it when I get hurt I know they'll get me through it and my chromosome pairs got all the genes I need to function perfectly and I got 23 not just in my body but in each body cell and I got like a hundred trillion of those as well how did they get there oh now you care well pay attention if you're not aware DNA replication. DNA replication. For your information, let's have a celebration. Yo. Now let's begin initiation. First, our chromosomes must be condensed before the replication can commence because now helicase can bind and do its thing with a little help from his friend ATP who initiates unwinding of the double strand at our origins of replication. Isn't that grand? We got many of those, but prokaryotes only have one, and that basically concludes initiation. The replication fork has formed, and not a fork like this. It's a fork that's composed of many subunits. Topoisomerase relieves all torsional strain and takes DNA out of its pain by breaking and rejoining his covalent bonds and single-stranded branding protein now responds by stabilizing single-stranded DNA template and now we are ready to elongate. First, the single strands need an enzyme called primase to add RNA nucleotides to the templates, giving it a new free 3' end to get attacked by a very important friend, an enzyme called DNA polymerase 3, who synthesizes strands bidirectionally, but can only work from 3 to 5 prime. I'll explain what that means if you got some time. Bleeding strand needs primer just once because its synthesis is continuous, but the lagging strand is made discontinuously. This was discovered by a guy named Okazaki since it runs anti-parallel to the other strand and since the 3' end is in demand, it receives primer multiple times once for each fragment that gets synthesized, and this is all achieved by a clamp, and if you're still following me, then you're a champ. Once the DNA fragments are made, it's time to have some fun with a little friend named DNA polymerase 1 who replaces RNA nucleotides with those of DNA, and I think he just throws the old ones away. He does this by using exonucleases, and now the fragments are ready to be ligated. The final enzyme is DNA ligase, who holds those fragments into their place. Now I have two DNA copies. I had one before. Isn't that something to be thankful for? It occurs in you. It occurs in me. It even occurs in this kitty. Glad we could provide a little education about a process called DNA replication. Now tell your friends. Spread it across the nation. It's Thanksgiving Day. Have some appreciation.